Hey everyone, thanks for rolling on through here. Today, we're going to continue in our monthly series of RPG Elite Philosophy. We're gonna be focusing on quality number two, number two today. So, let's roll. Welcome to RPG Elite, where we put the RP back into RPG giving you tools, giving you tips, giving you tutorials on how to make your RPG experience more immersive and enjoyable. If this is your first time coming to the channel, welcome and everybody else who might be coming back, subscriber or not, what's up? And if you are not a subscriber by this time and you keep coming back, maybe you might wanna consider doing that right now. Right now, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and also, if this video adds any kind of value for your RPG experience, then you need to go and smash that like button or crush it. Crush that like button. Just annihilate it. Kabam. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about RPG Elite quality number two. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about when I come to that, I have a string of videos that I have begun that talk in depth about the RPG Elite philosophy. I made an overview video quite some time ago and you can go and look at it right here and it's gonna be in the description below as well. So the link will be in the description below. The playlist actually, I'm not just gonna give it to one particular video, but the playlist is gonna be there. So to get caught up with where we're at. So you're getting in early on this because this is only RPG Elite quality number two, and we've got a full slate of over, oh well, there's 10 of them, and there'll probably be over 10 videos in that playlist once we get done. The reason I make these videos is because there's a misunderstanding about what even I mean in the overview video. It's a lot deeper than just one video. It really is. And when I say I'm about to make over 10 videos on the subject, then it means that you have to come to the table prepared to think a little bit deeply about this because I do. I've thought about this for years, which is why I've put together this philosophy, whatever you want to call it. Now, I know RPG Elite, the term itself makes people, you know, is off-putting to some. All right, well, it is what it is, right? It's the name of the channel, it's the name of the philosophy, it's the name of the attitude, and I'm not budging. So then there's that. So we're gonna continue just laying this out, and if you just hang in there the, and watch the videos in series, one by one, you'll get an idea, not, more, not only an idea, but at least we'll be on the same t page. Now you can disagree, and that's fine. You disagreeing and being wrong, ain't nothing wrong with that. People are wrong all the time. Uh, I know personally, I can have a discussion with somebody who's gonna disagree on this topic, and we can have a discussion that will probably go nowhere, but if somebody else is watching, then it might sway their mind either one way or the other in terms of RPG Elite or not. However, I'm not budging. So there is no changing of the mind here. I know for some people having that kind of conviction where you just stay in one spot, you don't. Yeah, that's because I, I think I, I've thought long and hard about this. And this thinking thing is kind of an endangered species, always has been in any society. It's like Thomas Edison said, Thomas Edison said, 5% of the people think, 10% think they think, and then the other 85% would rather die than think. And here we are. And you see this very attitude expressed in RPGs. When you get people who come to the table and be like, oh, I don't want to think, I just want to play. Um, hello, you still have to think, but you that attitude is played out in the game, right? How many times have you been, as a GM, or even as a player, playing with playing around the table and somebody does some something just ridiculous it doesn't make any sense whatsoever and the first thing that comes to mind is wait a minute that doesn't make any sense are you thinking well those people apparently are not thinking they have expressed that they're not thinking many times so that's another 
that's that's another subject so i don't want to get too far off so today we're going to focus on rpg elite quality number two and that quality is this why rpg elites don't play every rpg that's out there so the intro is over let's get to the meat and potatoes so i've got five sub points here i'm going to explain them real quick to you so number one we don't play every rpg that's out there because we just don't have the time listen folks some of us got families jobs got kids other ambitions other hobbies and so we can't play every rpg that's out there we don't have the time our time is valuable we live one time once that's everybody on one go round so we have to split up our time in a way that is going to be the most fulfilling to us and also the most responsible with what we have going on in our lives everybody's mileage is going to vary on that but we just don't have the time or maybe the way that we say it is we will not spend that much time on it <laughs> because everybody has 24 hours in a day and how we all spend that 24 hours in a day is where we that's where we choose and that's where we will di differentiate on some things but we that's the great equalizer the 24-hour day everybody who is blessed enough to live that full 24 hours has the same amount of time so the question is what are you going to do with that time and a lot of rpg elites won't spend it looking at every rpg that's out there and that's going to lead us to the second sub point which is we don't want to divide our attention there's a lot of people who get excited about rpgs and i get it i love rpgs man i cover them on this channel i'm going to be covering a whole lot of them over the years god willing so there's going to be a lot of rpgs i cover but in the background when i'm not on the channel how many rpgs am i going to play how many campaigns am i going to run or be a part of well that folks is going to be a handful at best less than a handful most rpg elites that's kind of where they fall some only fall in one they are specialists not generalist and one of the reasons for that is that we want to get the marrow out of every game because if we're going to commit we're committed we are going to invest in the core book we are going to maybe buy a supplement that's for us as a player and definitely as a gm we're invested we're building we're spending time well you can't do that with like every game that's out there multiple games that out there there's another reason why that's the case we're going to get to that as the last sub point number three well we are particular about the rpgs which we play now what i talk what i'm talking about there is we all have preferences all have biases some people like fantasy some people like science fiction some people like supernatural i want you to take a still right now i want you to pause i want you to look at the still of this video and I want you to guess what genre is my number one genre in RPGs. If you haven't, I've mentioned it in other videos. If you already know because of that, then you don't have to pause. But if you haven't, this maybe is your first time, or this is a video that you, you haven't seen me say it in the other videos. Pause the video, look at the still, take a hint and a guess at what is my number one RPG genre and then i'm not going to say it just comment below and put down what you think it is and it's not fantasy i'll give you that hint <laughs> we don't have to play what everybody else is playing 
just because it's popular. You really don't need to do that. Not in tabletop RPGs. If you don't want to play fantasy, don't. If you're like into action stuff and what, then there's, we got that for you. We got you covered on that. Multiple games for that. If you're in sci-fi type stuff, we got you on that. Superheroes, we really got you covered on that. So yeah, don't think that, oh, well, everybody's playing this game and this is the only game that I can find on YouTube. So may I need to go there? No, you don't. You don't need to go there. You don't. This channel is proof that you don't need to go there, that there are many, many, there's a plethora of different genres. Don't pigeonhole yourself and don't stifle your creativity by thinking that you can only do one when you can do at least multiple. But don't be a generalist, you know, too. You know, don't go out there and try to play every RPG that's out there. RPG elites don't do that. Once we commit, once we do our research and find that game, we commit, we are invested, we are specialists, and we want to get the marrow out of that game for a deep and more immersive and enjoyable experience. Number four, well, some RPGs just aren't good. <laughs> they, they, come on, there are a lot of RPGs out there. We're not going to cover every single one on this channel. I have to choose which ones we are going to cover. And there are some that I will never cover. The reason why I won't cover them is because they're not good. They're just not good. I have plenty that are fantastic, but they're not good. The systems may be jacked up or convoluted or whatever. So we have to give that a hard pass. Uh, I have to do a Randy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Randy White, I think it's, oh no, Randy Jackson. I have to pull a Randy Jackson on you and say. It's definitely a no for me, dog. Yeah, I can't cover all of them and the ones that I cover, I gotta cover ones that uh, people like or may like. And uh, what, but once we look at a game, you know, some of them are just not good games. Some of the first edition games are just not good games. And you know, some of them are not good. The concept is good. The system isn't. And number five, potentially, well, it's cost prohibitive. I mean, if you're into, and you're getting deep into, you know, three, maybe four games. I mean, that's, listen, if you're buying core books, right? That's if you if you do it for four, you, you're talking hundreds of dollars. That's at least 60 bucks a pop for each core book, right? So that's 240 bucks right there. Never mind any supplements or references that you have to, you know, get it. Never this is a this can get into a very expensive thing, and not everybody has 60, 65 bucks to drop on a book. They just don't. You know, some people might go and get the PDF and that can get expensive because you're thinking, oh, well, this is going to be cheap. So I'll buy this and I'll buy this and I buy this. And sometimes you even end up buying more there than you would in like a hardcover edition or something. So it could be cost prohibitive. Not everybody has that kind of disposable income to come out and buy every kind of RPG that's out there. And even with the ones that we focus on, it gets to be expensive. We're talking the hundreds of dollars. So we have to be very picky and responsible with the money in which we have. So we choose games, particularly, we're gonna invest in them monetarily and with our lives, and with our hearts. So there you have it. Comment below, which one of these would you fall into on why you would not play every RPG that's out there? Just comment below, mention one or two at the most. Which ones are you more likely to? You agree, disagree? That's what the comment section is for. All right, folks, I'm gonna skedaddle on out of here because I got another video to make because we've got our classic tabletop RPG series coming up at the end of the week and I gotta work on it. Work it, like DJ Funk, work it. Now, if you liked the video and it added some value to your RPG experience and your thought process, go ahead 
and subscribe or click the like button. If, if you're gonna do either one of those, click the like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm. The video gets pushed out more. More people come and watch this video. More people will become to understand what RPG Elite philosophy is. And by doing so, they just may discover, hmm, maybe I'm an RPG Elite. Could be, could be. Well, the brothers gotta get out of here. So until next time in the next video, happy gaming.